Hey guys, so I've made a few changes to my fire alarm system that I thought I'd share with you today. So first up, um, instead of this smoke alarm just setting off the normal alarm, security alarm, what it normally does when it used to go off was just pulse the relay, so instead of being a steady alarm it would just be pulsed. Instead I've added some logic to it uh, to bypass the security alarm when the fire alarm goes off and set off a separate sounder which is here. Um, which is much louder and you can clearly distinguish the difference between a security alarm and a fire alarm which is good also i've added some logic to my door access controller so when the fire alarm goes off it will actually deactivate that magnet there um, that's just for safety reasons so if the fire originated there and i couldn't get to the button then that'd be a bit of a problem because it's very hard to open the door i can't actually open it I've tried forcing this lock, as I've said in previous videos, and it just doesn't work. So that's something it does, it bypasses that. It will also mute any music that's playing. Um, so it automatically mutes it, so you can actually hear the fire alarm if you were you know, listening to music at the time. It also deactivates the lights and turns on the emergency light for uh, exit. Or, In other words, it just cuts the power to the whole room. Um, so that'll be demonstrated soon too. So I'll play some music and then we'll go ahead and set it off. This will restore power. So doors locked again, all the power's back on. Um, so my computer's restarting. Now normally it would call my phone, but I tried that last time I was recording and it actually stops the video, so I've just disarmed the GSM dialer. So it won't give me, but normally it'll send me a text saying fire alarm. So I'll have to remember to re-enable that. But that's pretty much just a brief overview of what it does and how it works. So I thought that's quite a nice update video. Um, we'll clear the rest of the smoke out of that and then we'll reset it. I'll do that now. It's gone into trouble because I've pulled it off. I might just open the door for a bit to clear out the smoke. So the relay's just in behind this power distribution plug here, and that's what controls. It's a 30 amp relay, so I'd never draw enough to heat it up at all. Okay, so you can actually see all this smoke exiting the room now. And I'll just wait, because I don't really feel like continually turning off my computer like that. It's just about all cleared now. I think if we'll go ahead and reset it. So we've still got pulse zone, which is the front door because it's open. Okay, but we'll go into oh, menu. Um, yeah, it is trouble. Troubles are gone. Okay, so we'll close the front door again. You can 
can see that magnet's all back to normal. And that probably just about sums up this video. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.